Hello everybody, this is Yetisic Gamer and welcome back to Pokemon Fold Y2. When we left off, we sadly lost our Reborn. Reborn was a Baldor named Reborn because he was reborn. Literally, he we had a Baldor before, he died. So I caught a new Baldor and sadly enough he died as well. So clearly Baldor is just not going to work out in my party. But let's at least have a moment of silence in the memory of Baldor. But instead of him, we have a gold bat that I stupidly enough leveled up to level 45. I don't know why I even took the time to do this, because I, I know I'm not going to use Golbat in the future, unless he can prove me wrong today. But normally I think Golbat is a shitty Pokemon. And if I am correct, then he is still a shitty Pokemon. Meaning that I've just leveled him up for nothing, because when I catch a new Pokemon, I will not even use him. And if you're, uh, and if you're asking why I'm here, because I got took this damn path... And I thought, hey, okay, look, goes here. I had no clue that jumping down one little bump would get me all the way here. So let's just go back here. Because we need to fight the tournament. And hell, maybe Golba is a good choice for this tournament. Maybe he is not, and, you know, we're fucked. I am going to make a different rule in this tournament here. Normally, if you lose a Pokemon in this lock, you have to release it in the PC. But now, if my Pokemon faints... I'm not going to release it, because I think that goes just a bit too far, and I'm just not going to do that. Because I might lose my entire team in the stupid thing like a tournament, that is normally optional. So I don't want to do that. Oh, they want Team Plasma guys in here, and fucking the first gym leader, and our rifle, okay. So, I have to start, okay, good. I know there's one cool thing about this tournament though, is that you can face every gym leader from generation 1 up until generation 5 in this little teaser right here. It's pretty cool. So you can face Brock, Misty, you can face freaking um, the third gym leader from uh, from Johto that everybody hates because she has a mill tank. <laughs> and the mill tank is overpowered as fuck. There we go, Bob against Robin. <laughs> Come on then, Bob. Show me what you have. I haven't fought against you in a long time, that is true. Let's see what this fucker has now. Three Pokemon, logically. Samurott. Well, um... Level 25? What? Wait. What? Uh, what? Wait. Wait, wait a sec. Why the fuck does he have a level 25 Samurott? And why is my Pokemon 20 levels higher? What the hell is going on? Um, uh, I, I, I have no words, because I don't understand how this works. And it's super effective, a, a flying wave is super effective against water. What? what? What is going on? Am I having a glitch here? Or are my Pokemon not supposed to be level 25 as well? Uh, Sure. I I really don't know how to answer to this. This is really weird. I don't get it. I really don't. Golbat, Golbat, the most shitty Pokemon ever because it's an evolution of Zubat and Zubat is the most shitty Pokemon ever, has just clean swept the team. Now logically they were 20 levels lower than him, but what the fuck? How does that work out? Logically, freaking, I don't know who's going to win there, but Corres is going to win there, don't be stupid. Logically, freaking, I won there because I'm just that great. And uh, Logic, Chairman is going to win here, logically, goodbye. Oh wow, this is so unexpected. Hello, Charon. I, I wonder if there's going to be kids who would be like, Oh my god. Oh my god, Charon won. Nobody expected that. Oh my god, he's a fucking gym leader. He's a sort of main character of the first game. How the fuck would he not win here? Come on, people. Don't expect some sort of plot twist out of Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe out of the anime. There's, there's some plot twist in there, if I remember correctly, but still. You will get your ass handed to you once again, just like when I beat you for the first gym badge. The fuck is up with the the fr the the hell is up with the FPS right now? 
my frames are shitty. He also has level 25 Pokemon. Am, am I misunderstanding something? No, I, I'm clearly not, because they are all level 45. I don't know what to say. I'm still flabbergasted. Luckily though, Stoutland is a very strong Pokemon, so it's going to take me a bit to kill it, but... And I don't get why the, my frames are dropping this badly either. Emulators are such weird programs, they really are. Watchhog. See, now you have good Pokemon, but they are all level 25. And like, if anybody can explain to me how this works, I would gladly listen to it, because I don't understand this whatsoever. But I don't give a shit either, just go down. There you go. Oh, what? Still using worker by Sea Sharon, just like the first gym medal. Just go down. Don't waste your time. Don't waste my time. Yeah, I am fantastic. Now piss off. Or give me another gym badge so I, have, you know, I can skip the fucking second gym. Because that's logic. Okay, now logically, Kores is gonna win. And let me guess now, fucking Kores wins and he has level 50 Pokemon. <laughs> it would be so funny if Uno did win. <laughs> well, once again, this was very uh, unexpected, wasn't it? Very, very unexpected. Haha, <laughs> jokes. No, it's not really jokes, it's the truth. It is actually not, because it was very expected. Fucking who, who, who? Okay. Be honest, if you expected somebody else to make it up here with me, at least tell me in the comments if you if you seriously believe that Correst wasn't going to be the one to fight us. It is. It has been a, quite a long time since I fought him, like before the fourth gym. Now we're on the way to our seventh gym and we fight him again. Now seeing as he is Team Blasper, I will fight him in the future, I'm quite sure. Wait, oh, did I just spoil something? Because it says Pokemon Trainer. I could have sworn he was Team Plasma. Is he not Team Plasma then? Uh, okay. He looks like one, but sure. I'm still very certain though that even if it doesn't say he's Team Plasma now in the future, we'll just see like a freaking turn around and he'll be like, now give me all your Pokemon and just fucking shoot us straight in the face and then take all our Pokemon. Because logically, Pokemon is turning into a shooter now. Then we you know we grab onto whatever we can, bullet hole in our head, fucking shoot everybody around us, kill all the Pokemon and you know be done with it. Why? I don't know why I even came up with that, but sure. Not a swift. No thunder shock that's not gonna do a lot of damage, even though it is super effective. Luckily, paralyzed is not gonna hit me either, so I can still do moves. It's not a critical hit though, that's sad. Not a thunder shock. I'm quite sure now Paralyze is going to kick in. No, it's not. Okay, then uh, Magneton is down. It's good stuff. Even though I said that fainting... Even though I said that if my Pokemon faint, I will not switch them. I am not stupid and uh, I'm still going to switch out. Because I still want to show my Pokemon skills. I don't want anybody to die, but... Heal block, okay, whatever. Look, I care. Freaking Discharge. Damn! I had expected that thing to have really high special defense, but clearly not. Clink. Now, this is where I think Pokemon are getting very um, unoriginal. Now, I've said before that I thought Trubbish was still an original Pokemon, because it's still a fucking trash bag. Who the hell would have thought of a trash bag, but... Two cogs with phases that just evolve into more cogs. With more faces, no, not cocks, as in the fro fucking dicks. Because if you thought that, that means you have a very dirty mind. I'm talking about cogs with a G. But that's just it. If they evolve, they just turn into more and get a bigger face. Is it really just this is not original? There's an ice cone later that just evolves into a bigger ice cone as well, which isn't original. But Trubbish is way more original than this piece of shit right here. I think this is the worst Pokemon and its evolutions in the entirety of Pokemon. And he's down, so what does it matter? Paragon has just clean swept two Pokemon. Not the entire team, sadly, but... Yeah, but I still don't understand why my Pokemon were 20 levels higher. 
Now I can do the math. 45 minus freaking 10, 25 is 20, but I don't understand why. Uh, weren't my Pokemon supposed to be 25, or weren't their Pokemon be leveled up to my Pokemon's level? I, I really do find it weird. It's it's something I would like answered, but if you don't have an answer for me, it's sad. But if you do, leave it in the comments down below, because I, I would like to know. Yes! One battle point. I need about 100 more to even get a move or anything else good. Don't tell me I wasn't supposed to do this. I'm quite sure I was supposed to do this. And then talk to Clay and then be able to go through the cave. Oh, I don't understand what's going on. Oh no, the Pokemon story escalates even further. How unexpected. Now, why they're trying to create a good story is just not possible. It really just isn't possible to create a good Pokemon story, in my opinion. Frost Breath? Is that even a move? Clearly it is. Never heard of it, though, and I'm sure no Pokemon can learn it of mine, but... Nice, I guess. I'm not gonna complain. This is, this is an awfully uh, suspicious-looking boat. Oh no! We have to fight more trainers! How are we ever going to win? Okay, now this is a pretty big amount of trainers. <laughs> Still though, I'm quite sure I can just win and just fucking walk back to the Pokemon Center if I want to. That's how Pokemon has always been. Oh! Uh, just It starts like that, sure. Apparently I'm wrong, I cannot go back to the Pokemon Center. Not that I need to, because my Pokemon have full health. Warthog, now this should be, yeah, there we go. That's some challenge right there. Golbat, now you have the time. Now you have the space to show yourself. So, show yourself. Like, how the fuck was I, was I gonna escape in the first place? Goodbye then. Zangus, uh, no, I'm not gonna switch. Hit yourself, good stuff. Holy crap, that's a good ton of damage you just did to yourself. Damn, air critter. Hope for a critical hit. Did not get that critical hit, but if he hits himself again, which he doesn't, he's gonna pretty much die. False swipe. Did not expect that to do so much damage, but okay. Zangus is now down. Oh, well, that, that did it for you, apparently. Okay. Okay, so I really cannot go back to the Pokemon Center. For once, Pokemon have thought of a logical explanation as to why these are actually bad guys. Because normally in Pokemon, even if people are bad guys, you can just run past them and go back to the Pokemon Center if you want to heal up. Clearly, that's not the case now. And I don't mind. <laughs> Get wrecked. Actually, I don't mind Golbat. Golbat is better than I expected. I take back everything I said. Well, not everything. He still is pretty much a shitty Pokemon, but most of the things I said, I guess. Another air curtain to Snorrent using Protect. Hopefully, it does not have Ice moves. Wait, you know, thinking about it, logically, it's gonna have Ice moves. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to uh, Powerigon. Sure. Oh, okay. Porygon has a lot of defense. What the hell? It just looks like a little duck. A, a, a marble-like duck. And it just can take whatever. That's weird. Whatever. Lyford. Now that is a dark type, so Cybeam is not going to do a damn thing. But I have Swift and Discharge. And Swift is a stab move, doing more damage because I am normal. And Swift is normal. Look at that. Look at that damage. Lyford, fuck off. You're worthless. Piece of shit. Okay, now I can leave. Well, now that I can leave and I see that I've recorded for a good bit now, I want to leave the video off here. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Maybe share my channel with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next episode. There we go, we've caught another Bulldor. When we left off, we caught a new Pokemon. A Bulldor. If I believe correctly, in this city should be a stone that makes him a ball. 
Oh wow. 